Not going to pass out flyers today? Yeah, thanks, Sally. I appreciate it. That I, I think this mic is really what stops that from happening. Not working for the Colts, huh? Trusting your stats. Don't worry, everybody's stats are down. We just don't like human trafficking. Do you know who he is? So, they reeled me in yesterday. Yeah. And had me watch the movie and all types of stuff. Well, I don't really know too much about it. Okay. It seems like you kind of know more than me. You I wanna... do. do you, are you okay being on film? Yeah, I definitely. Okay. I don't care, bro. All right. So, and um, this gentleman, uh, he was saying that yesterday uh, they kind of brought him in. Did they hand you out a flyer first? Yeah. Or, yeah. And you get a free personality test or did you just watch Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't give them your real name or address. I did. You're going to be emailed for the rest of your life. Oh, my God. So what, so what is it? Like, what is it? So it's, they call themselves the Church of Scientology. Yeah. And it was made up by the science fiction writer L. Ron Hubbard. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's really just a money scheme. So the personality test was free. And they probably showed you a graph at the end. And yeah. they said, hey, you've got a little problem here, whether it's anger or uh, communication, depression, yeah. anything. I've got a book that'll help you. You want to buy this book? Yeah, that's exactly the thing. And then the way they did it, though, that it's like they didn't ask. It was just like, oh, so you, they put the book in my face? Oh, cash or card? I'm like, hold on. Like, caught me way off guard. Like, Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and it just keeps on escalating from there. Oh, my God. So, do you remember, um, you said they, you watched the movie. Do yeah. You remember, what do you remember about the movie? Then? I remember a lot about the movie. It was about, about, it was about how the book came about about how uh, apparently he was a doctor or something using Scientology to help people make people feel better. Right. And at the time, it seemed interesting. I was into it. And uh, yeah, that's what basically all I remember, really. And okay. then they just started writing the book and sold the book. Yeah. In, the, in the 50s, he kind of came up with these ideas about how to help fix mental issues right in the brain yeah. and he would kind of shop it around to psychiatrists and psychologists and they all shot him down as this is bunk. Yeah, like, it's yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so from that point forward he is anti-psychology and anti-psychiatry so they won't let you know, like if you have a mental problem mm -hmm. they won't let you go to a psychiatrist they won't let you go to a psychologist they won't let you get you know like you need medicine to sometimes balance that yeah I, so i'm on antidepressant yeah. yep. they won't let you do that can't be on antidepressants and be a Scientologist. That's crazy. Absolutely. Well, antidepressants definitely help me. Right. Yeah. That, that idea that um, I don't, I've never been in that situation, but my understanding is that you probably return to a sense of normalcy when you're on it. Right? Yeah, that, that definitely. That not, the highs and lows, the swings are, are, are the way. Definitely. Yep. There's a, a terrible story about a, a person named Lisa McPherson. And she, so Clearwater is one of their biggest bases. Hollywood and Clearwater are the two biggest places in see Scientology. They've got their organization down here as well. Yeah. Um, she had a mental break. She had a car accident, minor car accident. She was mostly stripped down, bare naked, ranting a little bit. They took her to the hospital to do a psych evaluation. Scientologists found out where she was at. They came and they talked her into leaving against medical advice. And within 10 days, she was deceased. Because they, you know, they tried to rush her to the hospital. There was a hospital that was really close by, but there was a Scientologist doctor at the faraway hospital. So they tried to go all the way to the faraway hospital and she was declared DOA. So why are they trying to push this so hard? Like money, 100% money. So weird. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, now, what's happening, and, and I don't fault that guy. He was sold a bill of goods on this idea that we're here to save the world. Yeah. They had this very strange, it's called the bridge to total freedom. And you keep on taking these audits and learning more and learning more, and you're gonna save the world in regards to what's going on. Okay. When you get up to OT3, and I have no idea where he's at right now. Have you ever seen the South Park episode? Um, of what? So South Park <laughs> did an episode on this. 76 million years ago, or trillion years ago, a guy named Xenu, he was part of this galactic federation, and he rounded up all of the bad people in this galactic federation, and he brought them to Earth, and he put them in volcanoes, and put hydrogen bombs in there to blow it up. <laughs> oh my God. That's what they believe. Oh my God. <laughs> now, again, the thing is, they go in there under the, when you went in there, you thought, this is interesting. Yeah. Right? yeah I mean, it's so. very innocuous. Oh, wow, they're gonna help me with, a mental deficiency or a depressive deficiency or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And it sounds really good at this low level. 
and then you just start getting reeled in a little bit more and a little bit more. Yeah, it starts with the buying the book, and then after I bought the book, then they were talking about horses. Nice. I love cars, man. <laughs> but then they were talking about courses, trying to get me to spend another $50. I'm like, bro, that's going to be $75 I already spent on nothing. I'm not doing that. And they're like, they're talking about, like, well, I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to let you leave if you don't. Like, I was like, nah, I'm okay. Like, I was about to just walk up out of here. So. It's huge high pressure sales. It's, yeah, it is. Like, if, if you ever went to a timeshare, it's like trying to get out of a timeshare meeting. Yeah. They, they just won't let you. <laughs> They'll start knocking down the price a little bit. But, yeah, I was yeah, definitely those... about to get up and just walk out because I'm like, girl, you guys are trying a little bit too far. Like, no. Hey. no. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> really appreciate it. What else? So, were you only on the first floor? No, they brought me upstairs and put me okay. in his room to watch the movie. I was in there by myself. Okay. And then, uh, watched the movie. They came and got me and brought me downstairs and then, uh, gave me, like, a happiness guy way to happiness yeah and i was like watching some public service videos and then then i did the graph the test the personality thing and then they were trying to get me to buy the courses and stuff and I'm like, hey i don't know i don't know right now I'm probably good <laughs> now so all of that i don't even care about this idea that they have these courses and if you want to believe in that you can believe in that you know we the, there are plenty of religions that are you know it's interesting what they believe in and fine yeah that. But it's the crimes that they commit. So you're going to watch. They have uniformed people that will come in here. And they're older than my grandmother. And they are they come in. They get paid $50 a week. And they just write letters to everybody. $50 a week is nothing. What a week. That's crazy. <laughs> um, then, you, so there's this elder abuse. That they'll, they'll, you'll see them carrying heavy boxes. They'll be helping bring out the garbage at night. They have something called auditing, which is when you go on this course, they're gonna audit you afterwards to see how much of it you absorb. That's what um one of them was talking about. Oh, I want you. How I was supposed to come in today for a free session, and they're like, oh, I want you to come in on Monday because there's an auditor. I want you to meet. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Now, what'll happen is sometimes these kids are 12, 13 years old. That auditor has to stay in the room, and what they're really doing is trying to figure out any of your. They call it maroons. So what flaws do you have? What flaws will you confess to in this room? And then as you confess to these flaws, two things happen. They've got a solution for it. And if you ever try to leave, they're going to use those flaws as blackmail. That's what they were doing. They were like, because um, my graph was dep depression, which uh, I think is accurate because uh, you know, I'm on antidepressants. So. And then um, when she was like, oh, well, I won't let you leave, she's like, this, this is why she's pointing at the graph. Like, this is going to prevent you from coming back. So I can't let you leave. I'm like, like I'll come back. Like if I want to come back, I'll come back. If I don't, I don't. Like it's like it's up to me. Like it's trying to peer pressure me or something. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. It's okay. Um. Your father. Oh. Okay. <coughs> so these children that are auditing, they're not allowed to leave that room. Once you go into an audit, that door's closed until the session's done. Now. A lot of people in Scientology, they have very perverse desires. This person has to listen to that. So they have to talk about the sexual fantasies. They have to listen to all of the perverse things that this Scientologist has. So what if I go there and I just play with them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll just okay. play with them. <laughs> I will tell you, they watch this video. Man. It's going to be hard for you to get back in those doors. <laughs> That's cool, man. There's just there's this one really beautiful girl in yeah, there. Jessica? Just, yeah, yeah, exactly who. Uh, so do you, do, you ever, do you ever wonder why they have pretty girls in there? I Now I know why, because they definitely got me. Yep. <laughs> yeah, she just uh, texting me to come to these events and stuff. I'm not going. Yeah, I'm not going today. And again. <coughs> Yesterday, too, I showed my mom. I was like, oh, I bought this book, thinking it was a good thing. She's like, oh, I heard, I heard like bad things about this and I just immediately felt guilty so I, I don't care if they let me back in there or not. <laughs> I'm a fan of your mom. <laughs> yeah, thanks, me too. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really, it's financial ruin and then there's this idea that they'll, they'll kind of cause you to separate, they, they strip identity. So this idea that they want you to feel part of the group and without the group you don't exist anymore. That's another one of their tactics. So this idea that you'll feel uncomfortable leaving them. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty 
cool by myself. I'd be alone most of the time. I don't need those dudes. A lot of, <laughs> yeah. A lot of, you know. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf out here, man. Good to hear. Yeah. Hey. As, and then, uh, I don't know your beliefs, but I don't really believe in religion yeah. like that. Uh, so when they said church, I was like, man, it's already, you guys are not talking my language right now. Like, yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> now, there are, <coughs> there are people that are called independent Scientologists, mm -hmm. and they'll just go through the, the technology stuff, the courses. They've taken the courses, they're, they'll charge less than what will happen here. And there are people that, they believe in this stuff. And again, that's fine. We, there are people that believe in Christianity and, and Islam, right? And that's, you're, if you're an adult and you have a belief in that nature, you have every right to believe in it. For me, yeah, I just, uh, man, I've been doing good on my own without anything like this with my antidepressants. Man, let me tell you, like, from the day I started taking my antidepressants to now, man, I've improved a lot. That is great to hear. Like, I love hearing that. And, I mean, that's a story that I wish that we could tell inside the church because there are people in there that are struggling because they have something on the syndrome or on the spectrum of what you were talking about. Yep. But they're not allowed to solve for that problem with medicine. I thought I was going to be stuck in that dark like space for a long time. And I was against taking med medications and stuff. But uh, you know, I have like a couple friends who used to take antidepressants and they're like, bro, just do it. So I started taking them and I went from like having suicidal thoughts and being in, in and out of hospitals to see me. I'm out here walking, enjoying the day, getting my coffee. And nice. I was just talking to my the person who manages my prescription. Yep about lowering my doses to get off of it. You know, I'm feeling nice. good. So I don't need nothing interfering or conflicting with any 100%. of that. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely hope you get more healthy. What was, what was your name again? My name's Windy City Thayton Watch. I'm Paul. Paul, oh, Windy yeah. City. Windy City Thayton Watch. Thayton Watch, okay, cool. Where can I find, like, uh... So, Windy, uh it is Windy City Thayton Watch. Do you have a phone with you? Yeah, I do. Let me kind of bring on my channel real quick. So if you can just take a picture of that or um, I got the YouTube app right nice. here. Okay, cool. I'm gonna i I'm gonna say, I'll subscribe right now. You seem like a pretty cool it. dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Here's your friend Jessica. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's Thayton? So Thayton, remember I told you they, they rounded up these evil spirits and put them in a volcano? Hey. Their belief is they're called Thetans. Oh. So these, these eternal spirits. Thank you so much. No problem. Love it. Hey, you, you got some you got some motion on here. One thousand. <laughs> okay. When did you start? Uh, month and a half ago. Okay. Thanks. So. You know, that's good for a month. Okay. 